Mr. Niren here, welcome to another video. The, the last video weren't that successful. Simit one using custom characters, The Sims 3D, Dragon Ball Z Family 2. I did a video in Simit one using some Dragon Ball characters and I talked about Simit one and such. The problem was that the music in the game was too loud. We will lower it immediately uh, later. We don't want the music to be that loud. I could hardly hear myself speaking. That's why the video was kind of a failure. Only the parts where the music weren't playing were good. So there were a few bits in the video where I didn't have the music on, where I could speak and hear myself, but of course a video where I speak and where the music is so loud that I can't hear what I'm saying is bad. Also another bad thing was that the cursor wasn't uh, showing. So what I was saying was that Sim Enhancer is a tool for the sims uh, which allows you to edit characters you can start it up it loads uh, it connects to the sims installation the installation of sims 1 the original game not sim 1 uh, it's a tool that you can buy from a site on the internet search on search for sim enhancer on google and you will find it it's like an editor made by guy if you need to pay like nine dollars for the, the editor then you will download one copy of the editor with a unique like uh, <coughs> unique uh, code that you need to use to activate your version of the editor and then uh, with the editor you can do a lot of stuff you have like all the family members here of first like user data map you can go to user data 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 i have only changed user data 1 which is the, the main family and the main neighborhood I mean your your first neighborhood is user data and then you have user data 2 is the second neighborhood and so on you have all the families here including vanilla characters like Rand Adams and uh, custom characters like the Dragon Ball Z ones fortunately with Simit 1 I believe uh, and I, mo I moved over no it wasn't Simit 1 I believe I moved over my stuff from the other computer and when I did that the names disappeared they would need to re-add the names for example if you check DBC family one we have uh, Vegeta here he's not named Vegeta in this tool but if I start up the game I believe he still is named Vegeta both in Sims 1 and in Simit 1 there are some characters that do not have their names in Simit 1 but do have them all the all the characters have names in in Sims 1 in Simit 1 there are a few that do not have names because of moving over files and such and to fix that one would need to open up Sim Enhancer go to I believe uh, make over and then add the name here and then save then the character will have his name in bo both uh, Simit 1 and in Sims okay and here you can change stuff like uh, you can load uh, which neighborhood that you want to modify then you can add things like how much they like each other you click here and then you have the other family members here it's very difficult to know which one is who when they do not have names in sim enhances i will probably have to give them names they used to have that on the other computer but when i moved over the files the names disappeared from um, i believe sim one and from sim enhancer in some cases they do not have names in sim, sim enhancer but do have names in sim one uh, all the names are visible in, in in uh, Sims 1, of course. Um, okay, so when I do a makeover and add the name here, it will show up in both Sim Enhancer and in Sim 1. Um, I do not dare uh, updating uh, that launcher, it might cause uh, incompatibility with uh, the custom characters. I updated uh, once before and on the other computer, and then custom characters stopped working. So I am a little bit hesitant to do that. Uh, I know they will uh, update some, some assets in the game so they look better, but I'm worried that the custom characters that I spent like two days, uh, two to three days uh, adding, uh, I, I also downloaded a lot of stuff and, you know, sorted them out and edited them, all, all that stuff, and got them to work in Sim 1 and such. did some other stuff too, but um, yeah, I don't want to begin from scratch if. if an update would cause everything to not work. So I will probably not update. <clears throat> but anyway, 
uh, we can change the relationships with each other, but we need to add the names first, so we know who is who here. Then you can have, for example, the, the main character is the one you have selected here, so select the character here, that's the one you are changing. Then, then you select one here, that's the one he has a relationship to, so how much does Vegeta, this character, like the other character, then you select that here by moving this. And then how much does the other character like Vegeta? And then you can select that here. Then you can switch this to a different character and, and do the same thing. Then crush means they have a crush on each other. Love means that they have love for they are in love with the other one. Um, so crush, both have a crush, both will try to get a relationship with each other. If both love each other, then they are pretty much a couple. Okay, and if only one of them has love, then that one is kind of trying to get a relationship with the other character, but the other one is not as interested uh, and such. There, you can set that and uh, can uh, change the name, the description, child or adult. The problem is when you change it to a child. I tried, uh, for example, making Krillin into an adult, so you could have relationships, but uh, the problem is that certain models are uh, made for kids. So when you change this to adult, the model will be replaced with an adult model. It's probably possible to import the model for, for an adult through this tool. So, so I could, uh, in, I believe I would be able to make a an adult version of Krillin. It has the same model through this tool. We'll try that later. Okay, we can add uh, there starting economy uh, and they change their family we change this and save that we can move a character to a different family and uh, so if you have a character in one family we can move him to another one through this tool we can choose if he's supposed to be a ghost or not and hunt address and uh, we can change the, the job here are the options for the sport Person. I believe uh, we have all of these jobs uh, and uh, picked the sport symbol and gave Vegeta Hall of Famer. So that's the closest to a martial artist expert you get in Sims. You can choose performance level and fame star power, fame score, fame star high watermark, mark, etc. And uh, you have skills, <coughs> cooking, mechanical, charisma, body. Logic, creativity, cleaning, neat, outgoing, active, playful, nice. We have interests. Uh, by the way, we also had, uh, yeah, we have these two tabs, and then we have uh, interests. We can pick. I try to pick the most suitable for Vegeta and such. This editor is for Sims 1, not for Sims 1. But by first creating the family in Sims 1 and saving it in a house, or, or on, on, a, on a lot, then uh, it, the, the family will also show up in Simit 1. Fit the traits and everything still there and the relationships. Okay, normal clothes. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, normal clothes. It will load Vegeta's normal clothes. You can change, for example, texture here. The, this is the proper one for Vegeta. We can also change the model. So this is a place where you can pick the the model and texture for the, for the normal clothes. And then you have like head, hands, fashion outfit, formal outfit, winter outfit, swimwear, pajamas, nude skin. And it will load all the models in the skin folder. We have everything here. Uh, but uh, certain custom models won't show up here. Because they are custom and are not loaded. I, I believe uh, they might show up. I, I believe they will show up in Sim Enhancer, but not in Sim at One. And uh, the only way to fix that issue <coughs> was to, I believe, uh, create a CMX. So you pick like head, hands, normal, blah blah blah. For example, I try to get those uh, doll heads into the game. Doll heads. For example. Uh, this folder and then dollhouse lightheads then I believe uh, 
be 775. Here I have a GIF file for what the head looks like. This Moodle worked fine in Sims. I just added it to the skin folder and it showed up in Sim Enhancer. But when I added the, 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 the creator family in Sims and then started up Sim it one after moving the user data folder to the my computer documents Sim it one folder, I removed the old one and and added the new one from Sims. So every time you change Sims one should uh, Replace the user data folder in Simit1. Um, I believe uh, here we have the Simit1 folder, this computer documents Simit1, and you delete this one or move it, and then you add the, the most recent one from your Sims folder, the Sims folder. So you want to move this one to Simit1, folder named Simit1, and then it will get everything updated. Most characters will work that way. There were a few characters that had problems with their textures. So they had like no texture or they had a vanilla model as their body or had a, an invisible body, etc. A silver surfer body. Then you need to go to the Sims uh, folder and then you need to go to game data and skins and then you need to add the, the skins for that particular character for it to show up in Simit 1, it's probably missing. Okay, uh, but anyway, <coughs> with the dollhouse models, they worked fine in the original game, just by adding the files to this skins folder. Games maxes the Sims game data skins, but uh, and they also showed up fine in Sim Enhancer, the editor that I paid nine dollars for, and uh, I. I might have said this, but it's unique for, for each computer. If you have more than one computer with the Sims, you need to buy the, the editor for each of the computers. You can't move it over because it has a unique code, unique for each system. Okay, so the, the dollhouse model worked fine in, in the Sims game and in this editor, but when I started up the game, she wasn't selectable in the Create a Sim menu of Simit 1. And when I did the other uh, like uh, method, you know, created a family in the Sims and then started up Simit1 after moving over the user data folder of, Simit, of Sims1 to Simit1, then uh, for some reason only the body was there and the head was missing, it was invisible. I checked the pictures, I believe um, Simit1 ended up looking like this in Simit1 despite looking fine in the editor and in Sims 1. So the only way to fix that issue was to go to CMX Builder, pick head, pick female, choose child or adult, adult in this case, and then you would uh, add skin, you would add the skin file here, <coughs> that is like the the mesh, the Moodle file, and then you would name it here, the same as it's named there. So, so you would uh, name it uh, the same as the, the file is named, and save. No, save, you, yeah, save CMX file. And then you would go to port skin textures. Then you would choose the BMP file from the same folder. And then you would, uh, you would need to I believe uh, choose the BMP folder and uh, choose head. Take a while to load. Email. Then adult, of course. And then change the skin color. We have dark, medium, and light. It should be light. Character for, for that character. So each model has a preset. Uh, like uh, it's preset already. It has like if it's a head or, or a normal file or normal winter, etc. And then it has like female or male, and it has adult or child, and it has light, medium, or dark colors, skin colors. Okay, and then you pick a model here, 
and because we created the CMX model should show up here at the top so we have the custom ones here for example I have this model then I select choose BMP file I select this and I have a working head here and so I, I said that the original models when added in into the skin folder of the sims did show up in, in sim enhance so they looked like this with their body and their head fully working but in sim one they didn't work then I created the cmx model of the body and then added the, the I mean the cmx model of the head and then added the skin so we, we went to cmx builder added the model from scratch without the skin and then went to import skin textures and added the texture and these options then showed up like this then I just name it erase this and then we name the file uh, the same thing as the, the model file so we, we want to name it C775 FA slash realilt uh, and then this symbol and then head and another of this symbol and then head um, so I don't know the, the word for those symbols in English unfortunately I'm not an English speaker um, okay so um, I'm, I'm a Swedish guy anyway <clears throat> uh, so you you want to name it uh, the, the, the stuff that's written after X skin and after this symbol so C775 FA uh, slash real lilt slash head slash head then you import the file and then you can pick the character and you, then you, you go to leave it normal clothes and then you would pick the model here you need to probably select a different character for example if I select this character she should already look uh, uh, she's already done so to say this is the model but she looked like this in sims 1 and then she looked uh, like this in sim enhanced and then i started sim 1 and she missed her she, she lacked her head and hair and uh, by going to cmx builder i created the added the head from scratch then i went to the import skin textures and added the texture then I saved then I went to normal clothes and uh, loaded up the, the same character that I, that didn't work but looked good in sim, sim enhancer then I placed the, the model uh, that was originally added with the one I had just created it should be at the top and then I saved the game uh, saved the model and then she worked in Simit one too. So yeah, the, this tool is very handy. We have uh, heads, hands, formal outfit, winter outfit, fashion, swimwear, pyjamas, even a nude skin. We have the seps. We can import already created characters so when you have finished the character in this game with all their um, looks and personalities and interests and relations and everything you can save everything but the relationships by exporting a, a new SEP file click there and then you click continue and then you can save it here and then if someone else has this tool they can simply click on <clears throat> import, uh, sorry, they can click on import zip file yeah, in this area and, uh, and they get everything already finished. So for example, if I were to install sims on a different computer, uh, I wouldn't have to redo everything again. I could just start up this tool. I need to buy it again for that computer. Uh, and then I import the zip file that I saved then I get the character with, with the character's looks and uh, everything already set. The only thing that didn't move over was the love and the uh, uh, relationship stuff. So you need to re-add 
the, the relations because when you start to uh, create a new family in a different uh, game uh, on a different computer then uh, I believe that uh, they have different relationships because they are a different family but even if they use the same models you need to set the relationships again but you got everything else already done okay <clears throat> and uh, yeah so this tool is very handy you can also search for missing skin files duplicate skin search if you have duplicates you can delete them skin file validation etc etc you can export skins import skin textures etc etc so yeah when, whenever a model in, didn't work properly in one, I use I will use this tool Simhancer 3D to to add it. Okay, so that's Simhancer. I guess this will be a video on its own. We'll do another video where we go into the game. Otherwise, this will be too long. Th this video was pretty much Simhancer. Uh, whatever. <clears throat> where I can through Simhancer and its features. Okay, very handy tool, especially if you want models from custom models into Simit 1. You might not need it. You can install Sims and then you can create a family in Sims and then you can simply go over the use data folder to the computer, to my computer and documents and Simit 1 and most of them should work fine. Then if there are texture issues where the model has vanilla bodies or textures then just uh, add the missing texture to the skin folder, it should work. One thing I found out was that with the zip files, if you do not have the original models and add a zip file of, for example, uh, I added uh, a zip file that I found of Trinera um, Soldier Cloud or Young Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. And he worked fine in Sims and in Sim Enhancer, but when I loaded him up in, in uh, Simit 1, he, he lacked his uh, texture, the model. So it's possible to, to, to load a model from a zip file even to Simit 1, but the, 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 the texture might not be loaded unless you have the texture in the skin folder. I lacked that file. It did show up in, in Sims too. So uh, I suggest always keeping a backup of the, the textures and the, the model files. The steps are good if you want to just load the character with all their, their like uh, gear and interests and hobbies and such already set. But it's not good for backing up textures and models because uh, if you try to load it in Simit 1, it might be a silver server. In other words, a, a model without a texture because uh, Simit 1 can't load the texture directly from set files so it needs the skin files uh, to load okay so this is sim enhancer i use it to give each family proper relationships proper looks and uh, in order to fix any models that do not work in sim one okay thank you for watching no we won't save anything okay thanks for watching bye